Hey, this is Gary with Industry9. This is a quick guide to identifying our different generations of hubs. With the introduction of the Hydro Drive, we see the third evolution in the Industry9 drive mechanism. The first iteration of the Industry9 design is what we refer to as the legacy design. Starting on the disc side, the axle has a preload adjuster for the bearings. There's a small grub screw to set this preload. You'll notice the hub shell has a much more robust shape than the more current versions. Not only was the shape of this hub flange different, but it actually used a different thread pitch for the spokes. Torch and now Hydra share the same shape of flange and same thread pitch. With the second evolution in the Industry 9 design, the Torch hub shell sees a dramatically reduced shape. Not only is the hub shell more svelte, the flanges for the spokes have been reduced in size as well. For Hydra Mountain products, all end caps and driver bodies will remain anodized black. The shape of these end caps has changed some and a few of the features, which we'll go over shortly. Released in unison with the Hydra products is our new 101 hub. The 101 hubs are J-band only and boost spacing only with the option for 28 or 32 hole count. Available only in black, all end caps and free hub bodies will also be anodized black to match. Torch end caps feature a white Teflon seal. This seal is removable and replaceable. In place of the removable Teflon seal, a labyrinth seal is now built into the end caps for Hydra. Otherwise, these end caps share a very similar size and shape. All drive side end caps on Hydra products are now designed for tool free removal. Torch drive side end caps featured a Teflon seal just like the disc side. With the Hydra product, this has been replaced by the Labyrinth seal. A larger O ring and a more shallow groove on the axle is used to keep the assembly in place. This allows for a tool free removal of the end cap and prevents O ring damage during normal maintenance. Legacy axles featured a floating drive side end cap and a preload adjuster on the disc side. Hydra axles remain adjustment free, but their tapered center makes them easily distinguishable from torch. With Hydra, the diameter of the axle has gone down from 17 mm OD to a 15 mm OD. Here's an example of a torch, paw, and spring. A coil spring was used underneath the paw in place of the leaf spring which depressed the paw in the legacy system. The reduction of size and shape in the paw created less drag than the legacy system. Hydra sees a return of the leaf spring, only in a different format, and an even smaller paw, which creates even less drag than the torch system. Legacy brought us the introduction of the original 60 tooth drive ring. With six paws in two phases of engagement, this was the first hub to feature an industry leading three degrees of engagement. Another feature of the drive ring were the gates cut into the face to allow the driver body to easily be reinstalled. Legacy free hub bodies featured an external bearing behind the paws. 101 hubs feature the same drive side end cap as Hydra. This is a tool free end cap. While utilizing the same leaf spring, the paw is different and slightly larger. The 101 also features a retaining clip to make sure all paws and springs remain intact during removal for maintenance. The oil seal is now located in the hub shell rather than the free hub body like Torch and Hydra. It can easily be removed for cleaning and maintenance. 101 uses a 45 tooth drive ring. It doesn't feature the gates like Torch and Hydra. With the introduction of Torch, we still saw a 60 tooth drive ring and six paws in two phases, giving it the same three degree engagement. Hydra now features a 115 tooth drive ring with six phases of paws. This gives us 690 points of engagement and 0.52 degrees between engagements. With so many available standards, we made it easy to identify your hubs. For our system hubs, inspect the face of the brake flange. 
If you don't see a dot, this hub could be used for 135 or 142 spacing, depending on end cap configuration. A single dot indicates 148 spacing, also known as boost. Two dots would indicate 150 or 157 spacing, depending on end cap configuration. For our classic hubs, you'll want to inspect the drive side spoke flange. Knowing these key features, you should easily be able to identify legacy, torch, hydra, and 101 hubs.